The key thing to remember when designing blended learning activities in a VLE like Moodle is to combine activities such as reading, watching or listening where learners are assimilating information with more active learning experiences so that they have an opportunity to make sense of what they've learned. I'm going to set up a flipped classroom design for access to education and training learners in my Moodle space. I'm editing the topic I've changed the name to World Book Day. I can carry on and add more information here in the topic, but I've decided to divide the content up a bit more. I'm going to add a label. Within the label, I can start adding directions for learners. I want them to watch a video on YouTube, but I want to embed the video here so the learners can have a seamless learning experience. If I click on this icon, I can switch to HTML view. Now I can see the HTML code and the text I've entered. This means that I can make sure my video appears embedded in my Moodle site. Your VLE might automatically embed links, but this is a way to do it that leaves less to chance. And you can use this technique to embed more than videos. You can embed other tools and websites like this too. I'm looking at my video on YouTube and locating the embed code. I copy that. Now back in Moodle, I paste the code into the HTML view and click save and return to course. I can see the video there. But I don't just want the learners to watch a video. I want them to do some investigation and share what they find. So I'm going to add some instructions beneath the video to guide their next steps. To look at some websites and find and reference some resources. Now I'm going to add some web links for the learners to follow. I'm going to add URLs from the Add an Activity menu. Paste in the links and set the links to open in a new window. and I'll do that for a few more. Now I'm going to use my embedding HTML technique to bring in a Padlet wall where they can share the websites they've found. I've set up a Padlet wall and I can link to it here. but I can also find the embed code by clicking on this share icon. I'm going to copy that. Now in Moodle, I can switch to the HTML view again and paste in the code here. So my Padlet wall appears below and the learners can immediately see if anyone else has added something that might encourage them to do the same. I can still have my link to the wall that opens in a new window in case the size of the Padlet gets a bit fiddly. Now I'm going to add a new label with some guidance for what to do when we meet in class. And I'm almost done. However, I've noticed that I've told my learners that the video is going to take them five minutes to watch but I haven't given timings for any of my other activities and that's important because it helps the learners to know how much time they should be spending on these activities. So I'm going to go back over my learning design and add those in. And that's what it looks like in Moodle. One final thing to think about is what will happen if I stop filling up my Moodle site with learning designs like this. It may become overwhelming for the learners. Something I can do is go into the edit settings and change the format of the course from topics to collapsed topics. There are lots of options for altering the appearance of collapsed topics, but I'm going to choose point. And you can see what that looks like now. So that's my blended learning design.